Hi, my name's Edmund. I'm with All Weather Fire Starters. I'm 52 years old and I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. What do I do for a living? I manufacture the All Weather Fire Starter. It's a great product. I've been doing this for close to 20 years. I've made over 25,000 fire starters by hand. I handcraft each and every one of them. What makes me interesting? I love this product. Oh, and I love starting fires. Love starting fires. But my product itself is what we need to talk about. Starter. This thing will start in the rain, sleet, snow, it doesn't matter. It's guaranteed to light up every single time. My product has four different elements to it, which makes it a truly an amazing fire starter. First one is the magnesium. This is a high grade magnesium that burns at three to 5,000 degrees. It's not even out in the market yet. The second part is the flint. This is a man-made flint. It produces up to 1,100 degrees worth of heat and a shower of sparks. Truly amazing. But what I think you're going to be impressed with is what's on the handle. This handle you use as your tender and you ignite it and that'll even burn if it's wet. Now that's super cool. I need about $100,000. 20% of that or $20,000 will go towards raw materials. What we need more, magnesium, flint, the handle itself, also on our other models, we have compasses, temperature gauge that gives you the water temperature and the air temperature, more strikers and paracord, so that 20% or 20,000 will go towards the raw materials. $60,000 will go towards our manufacturing plant. We need to expand. We need bigger machineries to help manufacture this product and to automate it. That's the key is automation. The last 20% will go towards unforeseen costs because you never know what's going to happen in the future. Why does it have mass appeal? It's because it, we can take it from an outdoor survival tool such as campers, hunters, fishermen, survivalists, boy scouts, anybody outdoors is going to want this product. But now we're taking it from an outdoor to a home use. Right over here we have a gas grill. Check this out when I'm talking about home use. You can start your gas grill with this thing. Now we know everybody or pretty much a lot of people have either a gas grill, a charcoal grill, a fire pit, or a burn barrel. Stand back about three feet and throw your sparks in there. Check that out! Is that amazing or what? It's truly unbelievable. But it's also a safety tool so now you don't have these unexpected explosions getting too close to it using your uh, matches or lighters. The biggest challenge we have right now is the manufacturing process. We can't manufacture these things fast enough. I'm handcrafting them all by hand, so that takes me a lot of time. So by moving from handcraft to automation or mass production, mass production, that will take us to the next level really quick. What my family thinks about me and what my friends think about me, I hope it's nice. It is. They love me. How can you not love all this? But anyway, yeah, they're really excited about the product. They're really excited about me being on this ABC show with you guys. So they're supporting me, have a great foundation with them and my friends and family, which is great. My backstory, how did I get started? Well, about 20 years ago, my mom gave me, loaned me $4,000 to help start the, pro the business. So I was able to buy some products, but I did pay her back $4,000 plus interest. So we're settled on that. Thanks, mom. But that's my backstory, and pretty much I've just been manufacturing these all by myself all these years. My end goal is to do this. I have a lot of friends right now who are out of work. The economy right now is hard. By getting this $100,000 and opening up a facility plant, I can hire my friends who are out of work who are really in time of need right now. So that's what I would do with this money uh, if I had the opportunity to be on your show. But the last thing I want to share with you before I go, is to let you know how I feel right now at this point in my business career. Picture this, the Kentucky Derby, Churchill Downs. Those powerful thoroughbred horses are lined up and they're in the gate. I feel like I'm one of them. I'm in the gate and I'm restless. I'm banging up on the sides, I'm rearing up, I want out. I want that bell to ring and I want this gate to open so that I can do what I do best. Just like those powerful thoroughbred horses do what they do best, which is run and win their race, let this powerful thoroughbred horse do what he does best, which is pitch this product and run the race that I was put on this earth to do. All I'm asking is that you please open up the gate and let me run. 
let me run. Thank you very much. I hope to see you guys soon. I hope this all works out for both of us. Take care.